there are two ways comb filtering is created in a physical space with a sound system. The first is by what is called reflection. Anytime a sound is produced, it radiates from the source and bounces off any nearby hard surfaces. For example, when a drummer hits a snare drum, the emitted sound travels to the microphone as well as to any nearby walls in the room, which reflects them back into the microphone. Because reflected sounds are traveling a farther distance than the direct sound, they arrive with the microphone later than the original. Both signals are identical, but one signal is delayed by a few milliseconds, causing a comb filter, where some frequencies are canceled and some are summed together. One way to avoid this is to place microphones as close to the source as possible. This way, direct sound level will be significantly louder than reflected sounds. Sound wave energy Energy decreases rapidly over distance. So by making sure we are getting as close as possible to the original source, we can take advantage of this. The other effective method is by absorbing or diffusing the early reflections by using proper sound treatment in the room. 